ISRO has announced that it has integrated the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft with the launch vehicle GSLV MK3. The space agency is currently looking at a mid-July launch for India's third lunar mission, which is our second attempt at soft landing equipment on the moon. As preparations for the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft take off and are underway at uh, Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh, it is important to note that the objectives include successfully achieving a safe and gentle landing on the moon, demonstrating the rover's ability to move around on the lunar surface and conducting scientific observations directly on site. Meanwhile, ISRO Chairman S. Somnath has stated that significant improvements have been made to the lander and rover as extensive tests have been conducted over the last two years. Group Captain Dr. V. N. Jha, Senior Scientist and former Joint Director of DRDO joins us on the show. Uh, sir, appreciate you joining us. A very good morning to you. Well, we've made this attempt in the past as well. How better are we prepared this time around according to your expert opinion? Group Captain Jha. Your audio has gone down. Sir, can you hear me now? Your audio has gone. Can you repeat it? So, if you can hear me now, so we have made this attempt in the past as well. How do you think India is uh, better and uh, you know more suitably prepared uh, for uh, you know a successful landing on the moon? Thank you very much, Vinay. Uh, on your channel itself, we have already talked about it uh, at a length, and uh, I thank you and your channel for taking up this cause of science and the space technologies. Uh, look, what has happened is in this two years. ISRO has a very methodically gone about Chandrayaan, the, the failures, you can call it, or the, the shortcomings of the Chandrayaan 2. And what were was the possibilities of uh, the last uh, minute uh, ditches? Uh, they have taken care of. It was essentially that the lander, uh, while touching down or while coming very close to the touching down, didn't have enough of a thrust didn't have a down looking camera to avoid the inclinations uh, uh, underneath and also had a, a bit of problem that it didn't have the uh, the, the, the intricacies of managing the, the lineage. It only had the tolerance of about 15 to 18 degree bank to which it could withstood. But the moment that bank went slightly beyond, it, it couldn't. So, so it could have tripped up. All those things have been taken care of in this Tanyan 3, where in the entire the, the, the four legs are much more robust. Now these four legs can take care of inclinations of up to almost about 30 to 35 degrees. The, the center of mass, center of gravity of the entire thing, center of mass has been brought down so that it is much more sturdier, much more uh, uh, useful in that way impact resistance to the uh, ground is much better. The touchdown speed has been uh, reduced from the earlier three meters per second to now about two meters per second. And the additional thrusters have been given to the lander so that while coming for touchdown, it can actually hover around and then softly land onto the lunar space. So all those the, the, the difficulties of the past of Chandrayaan 2 have been taken care of and we are looking very eagerly that with all this uh, uh, taken care of, Chandrayaan 3 is going to be a, a success without any hitch, it should land there. And Chandrayaan 3 has got, uh, you know, everything in the place right now. It will be uh, launched within the launch period of uh, uh, 12 to 18, uh, 18th of July. Uh, this period is something when uh, the spot of the Chandrayaan, where, where uh, spot of the landing uh, onto the lunar surface, uh, as the the, the moon c continues moving around. So, within this period, if it is uh, the it is, if it is launched, and then the final trajectory, final uh, uh, expulsion of uh, uh, the Chandrayaan three from the Earth orbit the lunar trajectory is maintained as it is uh, there supposed to be there, it will land at that lunar spot. That is very important and that is why this window of launch period is there. So we uh, uh, bid very uh, best of everything to ISRO and with the uh, intricacies, uh, 
you know, taking care of the, the problem areas, taking care of uh, in Chandrayaan 3, we uh, are confident it is going to be a success. We need mm. and, and, and sir, you know, post the successful completion, completion of uh, our endeavour onto the moon, uh, how do you think India's, uh, uh, you know, space optics throughout the world are likely to change? Well, uh, you know, there are a plethora of technologies that is going to be uh, demonstrated, that is going to be used. It is not only that it is landing. The landing is the, the beginning of the entire technology demonstration that is going to be there. Uh, the lander itself has got many of the sensors, many of the, uh, the aspects which it will be perceiving on the lunar surface, including seismic activities of the lunar surface, and the rover which is going to come out of the lander, it will be uh, conducting various uh, uh, experiments onto the lunar surface, its, its sand, its uh, uh, rocks. Uh, it will be drilling a hole onto the surface and then analyzing the type of uh, uh, mineralogy that the lunar uh, uh, soil contains there. So, you know, there are plethora. Uh, after acquiring all these informations, it will be sending it through the orbiter, from the from the rover to the lander, from lander to the orbiter, and from orbiter to the Earth station. So, uh, numerous uh, coordinations are there in this particular technology, and we are looking forward very, very eagerly. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.